Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Hobby Time. On today's build, we've gone back to our Fallout series and we have a Power Fist. Now, uh, yeah, this was a great little file, great little build. As you can see, motorized, a bit tight on my hand, still working on a few bits and pieces here. Um, but this was a lot of fun. This is my first electronics build and I'm still trying to work out a few issues. Uh, but you'll get to see that in the video. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, uh, let's get to this. Well, here we are again, guys. This file was by Mystery Makers. Um, as you can see, I think it was about 82 parts all printed up in one go. This is the iconic weapon from Fallout, the Power Fist. Everybody loves this weapon. Now, it comes as two different versions, a motorized or a non-motorized version. I opted for the motorized version because I've never done electronics before and I want to do something a little bit different so we'll get to see how we end up here. Um, first off obviously priming everything in black just getting ready to put some different colors on it because it was a yellow orange color um, I wanted a black base coat. Now here was my first mistake. I painted this in yellow and it must have been the type of yellow paint I used, but it turned out trash. It didn't adhere, it kind of had blotches and patches, and it really wasn't good. And I definitely wasn't happy with how it started out. But hey, live and learn. We've got to all make these mistakes so that we can, uh, we can fix them. So we've got the first part of assembly here. Obviously the main part of the ring. Uh, which basically your arm will go in, everything goes inside that. It's a pretty easy build to follow. Now, Marco, who has Mystery Makers, uh, he has videos and he has a PDF and all that sort of stuff. So don't be daunted by how big it looks. This came together really, really easily. Now here, favorite part, as always, the airbrushing. So. I had to try and repair that yellow paint and I really didn't want to go over and paint it again. So what I've done, uh, I've airbrushed it with some rust, with some more yellow, with a bit of orange, done some chrome work and some weathering and everything like that. And you should be able to see, I'll show a couple of photos coming up here, just how I ended up with the paint. I was pretty happy with it, so I think I recovered it quite well. That's what it looks like now. Obviously these shots are of a static prop version, which is a little bit different than the final version that we're gonna end up with with the electronics. Now onto the electronics. We have the beginnings of what I went through to build this. Now, when you take the Mystery Makers file, there's a text file that will show you exactly what you need for the electronics, what you need to make it motorized, if you wanna make it motorized. So we had some wiring, some pins, an Arduino, some servos, and a few other bits and pieces. Now, I know a little bit about um, electronics and electrics. However, Arduinos and servos, uh, that's far outside my realm. So it was quite a learning experience, but it was a little bit of fun. Um, I had a couple of rookie mistakes that uh, I learned pretty quickly. Obviously, probably the main one for me was knowing that you have to code an Arduino before it works. That was a rookie error on my behalf. Now, the other issue I had was there was a slight coding problem with the file, so the servos went the wrong way, which was a bit annoying. But it's not too hard, like soldering iron, some heat shrink, and you can make it look as messy or as neat or do whatever you want. Most of mine's gonna be hidden inside the build so I wasn't too worried about it, but it does work. It's functional, it's got a little case that comes with the file from Mystery Makers, so you can tuck it away inside there, which is really, really good. Part of the file set also come with a little box to put the Arduino in, to hide the wiring and everything like that. Obviously, if you don't want the motorized version, you don't have to use any of this, but I wanted the motorized version so that I can go out and do this. Well, not really, because there's no sort of ghouls around, but you know, that was the intention behind it. Now, 
nice easy quick function test there for you and you can see that stupid yellow paint that I put on everything that was a big issue obviously we've got some shots here of the assembly just everything going together now just doing a little bit of airbrushing just with the accent pieces like little linear rails and and uh, basically the the cage that surrounds the power fist and everything like that all these tiny little details that just one they add a little bit of strength to the power fist two they make it look a little bit more realistic because you do the main part of the fist first these come after once you've got the electronics done you then will do the main part of the forearm I guess you could say join the two together and then you put your accessory pieces around that that way if there's any configuration issues or dramas or anything like that you know before you've got the whole thing together and you have to try and pull it all apart which is very very annoying trust me on that so after all this we're pretty much done this is what we want to end up with we want to end up with a power fist however in the real world this is what we end up with because we're using PLA parts and it's a cosplay prop and you probably really don't want to be able to punch things like that if this is what we get this is great I loved it I love the electronics and it was good fun guys So as you saw from the video there guys, uh, that's how we went through and uh, made this bad boy. Now, I have to reset the servos because it will not go back all the way in. So I'm working on that now and I need to tidy up the wiring as you can see from the photos, but this was good fun. And first electronics build onto some new ones. But uh, as always guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and all that sort of stuff, so I know you're enjoying this. And don't forget to watch one of these videos here of our Fallout Build series. And as always, uh, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Thank you.